Young guy, and he is improved in his second year association. Elbow jumper, Kemba Walker rattles around and finds a home. <laughs> Kemba Walker draws the foul. Kemba slides over for a baseline three and hits it. When an opponent is banked in a three. We talked about it at the beginning of the year. Look at Kemba Walker. Two in a row for him. Kemba's already made a pair. Give him three. Nine early points for Kemba Walker from behind the arc. And also had a long two-pointer. Third game in a row that Kemba has really shot the ball behind the three-point line early in the game and shot it well. That Neto has his eyes on him and does not know where Kemba is. Nice pass to the corner. Again, Kemba's doing work on that left side of the floor. Again on the left side. A little crossover. Has a shot he's taken. Touched anything but the net so far. Kemba had to put that so high in the air to get it over Gobert, and it's still ball. Kemba Walker turns around and throws it in. He is absolutely a flame Kemba to give the Hornets the lead, and he does. 6.7 remaining in our first quarter. Kemba Walker continues to be red hot. Kemba's eighth field goal, his 19th and 20th points, and Mama very happy on a Monday afternoon. He wants to be out there in a week and a half. Marvin Williams, three-pointer. First, Kemba. He is absolutely torrid shooting three-pointers in his last three games. There's no one near him, though. Comfortably, he's got a nine-point advantage. Minute and a half remaining, first half. Tony scoring! Good power inside for the third-year pro. Going up strong with two hands, and Gobert. Kemba uses the screen from Cody. And a foul called on Gobert. Warm up, he looked real ginger. Marvin Williams, turn around. Former Utah Jack. Kemba wrapper on pass to Cody, who pays it off. Because it's so hard to be a professional player, but. Amen to that. Kemba Walker keeps on keeping on. Kemba is now five. For six from behind the arc. He's got a game high 28. Marvin Williams. Three more for Marvin. Turnovers down. Value the basketball. They lead the lead in not turning the basketball. But three straight, straight ones. Kimba Give Walker's got to do something about Kimba it. Walker and a chance for the three point play. It's been like that all afternoon. All game long. Understanding what his team needs. Look at that. A little hesitation. A little turn of the head. Gets his shoulders by Burke. Back pedals to the bench. Lefty scoop shot, Cody Zeller. Cody Zeller. Lynn had to wait for that pass to come down, but he didn't mind waiting a little bit. That's three for Jeremy. Kemba steps back to free himself and buries it. That's what you need out of your co-captain. Stop trying to regain the lead. Talked about how important possessions are. There are none more important than this one. Flashes the three-pointer. Kaminsky gets it to Batum, who lost it. Loose on the floor. Lynn picks it up. Kemba fouled by Hayward. Hayward along the baseline. Lost it. And a late whistle. A late whistle is going to stop play. It's going to go against Gobert. Kemba zigzags inside and scores! What a play by the co-captain. 39 for Kemba Walker, none bigger than the last two. points that ties a season high for number 15. Gets the switch, backs out Gobert. Gobert goes with him and then he puts on the Jets, goes right by. Burke has to gather along the baseline. One point game. Kemba leans in looking for contact, but hits instead. The concentration to think I'm going to get a hit. So I've got to really concentrate, prepare for that hit. Put the ball in the basket. Kimba Walker continues to amaze this crowd. 
Look at him. He's looking. Where's my man? I know he's late. But shows it. Hood goes by without getting that much contact. And Kim Walker says that does not matter to me. I'm going to put it in anyway. Yeah, he's really sold that ball fake. Steal or commit a couple of fouls. Kemba is fouled at half court by Booker. Open look, Ingles. Back to a two-point game. Hornets have to call timeout. Things just aren't. Gobert gets a dunk. We've seen that before just a couple of days ago in New Orleans. Hornets have it. We're tied at 108. Trying to end it in OT. Kemba! And we've got a second overtime. Utah, they drew up a beauty. Kemba in attack mode. Offensive rebound, and it goes! Kemba, closer and closer to that triple-double. Had enough to get that through. Three more for Kemba Walker. Burks got it. This to time. Short Kemba, the rebound, and he's fouled. This could ice it and make it a historic afternoon for Kemba Walker. 50. As the boys from probably around Kemba's neighborhood, city. That's how you say that. Kemba's had a day's work just in the two extra overtimes. I mean, this is a guy that's not going to shy away from an opportunity. Yeah, that's just good wherewithal of who's on you and how you can get free. Show the basketball, get a fly by and knock down a big jumper. Highest scoring game in the history of the franchise. And that will do it. A thriller here at the high. The Hornets beat the Jazz in double overtime. Thank you so much, guys. Kimball Walker here. You seem exhausted, and you're okay to be tired. You played the entire end of the game. You ended up setting a franchise record with your 52 points tonight. Tell us what you're going through right now. I'm a little upset, actually. Oh. Uh... You know, I basically made all the plays, all the mistakes down the stretch to keep these guys in the game. And, you know, as one of the best players on this team, I can't make those mistakes. And, um, yeah, I'm just a little upset with myself right now. Well, I think that's okay. That's part of what makes you really good, is that you hold yourself accountable for things. I know you're going to go back and look at film, make any necessary adjustments. But how important is this victory for this team today? It's important, you know, especially the way the, the game went. You know, we could have we could have folded. You know, we could have, you know, stopped playing together, but we didn't. You know, I thought we we fought more and more, you know, especially the first overtime and the second one, and, you know, we put a big win. All right, now tell me a little bit about down the stretch. Coach Cliff is drawing up plays. You guys are using timeouts. Is that something that you feel this team needs to address to get over the hump? Definitely. we got to be locked in. we got to know how to execute plays, and I thought we did that. Um, it was a tough game, man. Utah's a good team, and... Everybody seen they fought their way back and that was a really good game and you know we was able to come out with a huge one.